So hi, hello and welcome again. I'm Micro Hunter here. I'm Oliver. Look, uh, I think these are very beautiful antique uh, microscope slides. I bought them over the course of uh, several months. Yeah, I put them into this uh, cardboard uh, slide box uh, to store them horizontally. Uh, I could have actually also stacked them up into a regular slide box and then flipped the slide box around vertically so that they're still stored horizontally. Yeah, so um, I've got actually two of these uh, folders here. However, there is one thing that um, I feel a little bit, uh, what's a little bit of a pity, um, and uh, that uh, those slides, even though they are um, approximately 100 years old, some of them, they are missing one, um, actually two pieces of information that like, uh, to have seen on those slides. The first piece of information is the type of mounting medium used. Uh, it's unfortunately not always mentioned. I mean, over here it is mentioned. I've seen, um, or at least the staining is, is mentioned. Yeah, uh, it's written over here, the type of stain I think that's uh, used. Um, um, but unfortunately, not very often the mounting medium. That's uh, one thing that I would like to see in a microscope slide. And then another thing that's missing, and that's, I think, even more important, is the date, or at least a year. Um, so these uh, microscope slides, I know that they are approximately 100 years old because some of the slides are branded and they have the name of, um, yeah, of the slide manufacturer here. Yeah, so let's uh, zoom in a little, little bit here, yeah. So you can actually have to focus here, yeah. Yeah, Watson and Sons, for example, yeah. And uh, basically these uh, slide manufacturers, many of them are from, uh, from, from, from Great Britain, right? Um, essentially they are uh, quite well known were well known and therefore we can estimate when the slides were actually manufactured. Um, however, unfortunately, um, yeah, this information is not always present. Here it is. It's labeled in German. Yeah, 20th of January 23. This must be 1923. So this slides here, these slides here must be over 100 years old. And I also believe that because the, the writing is actually uh, um, in a very old, old fashioned writing. Yeah. So by the way, this here is also one. This is uh, actually maybe one of my most controversial slides. It's uh, the finger um, um, of a fetus, uh, a four-month-old fetus. Yeah. So essentially, um, I'm saying this because uh, if you are also manufacturing slides or making slides, either for hobby or also commercially, uh, please put a date on it. <laughs> it's uh, really um, because who knows uh, how the slides are? Maybe the slides are going to be uh, yeah uh, around for a very long time. And this actually shows also a little bit of uh, the high quality quality that some of these slides have and I decided well simply why not uh, I don't know put uh, one or the other slide under the microscope as well and we've got some insects over here yeah, these are actually one of my favorite ones over here these are the cross sections of the spine um, of a sea urchin right you always want to basically only touch the slide here at the side right and uh, yeah um, let's just put this here under the microscope simply to show you um, the enormously high quality of um, of the slide so it's not only that the the sample was uh, properly uh, prepared and embedded and also ringed but also the slide itself the glass itself is of uh, quite high quality and do you know that because the edges here are actually sanded and and quite quite smooth so I'm, I'm very happy with uh, those uh, yeah let me focus this again here yeah um, yeah, I'll just uh, quickly show it to you. There are basically a uh, spine of echinus. Uh, that means basically the cross section of the spine. This, this, the, 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 uh, not the spinal cord, obviously, but the spines are those uh, spikes um, that sea urchins have. And uh, basically, yeah, this is uh, something that they have prepared uh, probably also 100 years uh, um, ago because W. Watson and Sons was essentially um, yeah, around at that time. Yeah, so um, I'm quickly going to show this to you. And uh, but actually, my main uh, the main idea is, is please put your date, put the date, and and also the mounting medium and the preparation uh, yeah on on the slides if you make slides. So then let's have a look at this uh, under the microscope. Yeah, so this is how it looks like. Um, you can see that uh, it, it looks very porous. Uh, it's uh, made of calcium carbonate. Let's go up with the magnification a little bit here. And uh, I really like uh, those uh, beautiful patterns. And you can see that uh, if a slide is properly prepared and uh, properly mounted, then uh, the slide can last uh, yeah, for a very, very long time. Uh, let's go up yet further. Yeah, so that's uh, actually one of the things that I really like about uh, um, yeah uh, about microscopy, hobby microscopy, amateur microscopy is that you can also start collecting slides. It's not only about observation, but also collecting uh, specimen preparation, of course. Yeah, and uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe even art. 
because this looks uh, very beautiful. So nature observations is one of the things that I like to do with the microscope as well. And basically the idea is a little bit uh, is uh, to simply motivate you also to prepare your own slides, uh, but then please, yeah, to put a data, <laughs> to, to put a data on them as, as well. Yeah, and uh, let's uh, have a look again here um, at the slide box. Yeah, here, here's another cross section um, of uh, a sea urchin spine. Made uh, by the same uh, company. Yeah, isn't this isn't this beautiful? Look at this. Yeah, I mean, the patterns of nature are really uh, really nice. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so this is basically also another activity that uh, um, I like uh, to do. I like to, of course, uh, collect slides as well, and uh, not because of a po possible value that they might have, but simply because uh, I like uh, I like the history. Uh, yeah that's behind it and uh, you can actually see that the people who made those uh, microscope slides, eh, they really loved what they were doing. They really put a lot of effort and time into a proper uh, proper specimen preparation. Yeah, I yeah, just uh, wanted to share that uh, with you um, and uh, I think that's all I have uh, for you today. I just wanted to motivate you, make your own slides as I said before, but please put a date on them and maybe also the type of mounting medium uh, that you used and uh, one of the things that I still have not found out yet especially with those specimens here is, is how they actually made it uh, that thin because the spines of those sea urchins are very brittle and hard they're made of calcium carbonate um, and uh, for this reason cutting them into such thin cross sections must be quite difficult and I think maybe it wasn't even cut but maybe it was kind of uh, either polished down or sanded down um, I don't know um, it's also one of the things where we have to take care that the knowledge uh, that uh, people have built up over the years uh, yeah, that this doesn't disappear somehow. Um, but unfortunately, I was not able to find yet uh, a source uh, um, of information on how they have uh, prepared uh, those uh, fairly difficult specimens because, yeah, it's brittle and uh, you cannot simply cut this with a sharp knife. Yeah? So, yeah, I uh, wish you all the best uh, uh, and uh, happy microbe hunting as always and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.